Welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover a most common problem among online business owners that is failed payments on payment gateways. So here I'm going to show you how you can automatically send a WhatsApp message to the customer whenever the payment fails on Razorpay payment page. So guys, if you are using Razorpay, then you can use this automation to inform your customers that their payments are failed for any reason. So guys, whenever someone's payment fails, the chances are high that you can lose a potential customer. So this automation is going to instantly inform the person who is making the payment to you that the payment is failed for any reason and they can take the necessary action and make the payment again. So this is going to save your time and improve your uh, chances of making successful payments as well. So I'm going to show you how you can set up the workflow of this automation without any coding just by a few clicks. So if you want to learn this, stay tuned. Let's begin. To set up the workflow of this automation, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And guys, to reach here, you can use the link I have pasted in the description. And from here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automation. So guys, you can just sign up right now from the given link. And after that, sign in to reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. From the dashboard, just click on this create workflow button. Here you can provide a suitable name to your workflow. So let me give a name here. So I have given this name. Now click on this create button and you can see the workflow page is loading up. And on this page, guys, you will find the basic building blocks of our automation, which are the trigger and the actions. So guys, trigger is that event which starts any workflow and the actions are the automated responses or the consequences of the trigger. In our use case, guys, uh, getting a failed payment on Razorpay is going to trigger this workflow and the automated action would be to send a WhatsApp message to the person who is trying to make the payment. So when you click on this trigger window, it will ask you to choose the trigger application. So you can just search for your payment gateway application. In our case, we are using Razorpay and you have to connect it here and you have to select the trigger event here as payment failed. Okay. All right, and here we got this webhook URL. So on this URL, we can receive the data of, a, of any failed payment from Razorpay to this workflow, okay? So you need to follow these steps written here to make this connection between Razorpay and the trigger. So let's follow the instructions. This is my Razorpay applications dashboard. From the left-hand side panel, you can see this account and settings option, click on it. And under this page, you will find this website and app settings section. From here, click on this webhooks tab. All right. Under webhooks section, click on this add new webhook button. Here, guys, you have to paste the webhook URL that you got from your workflow. So just copy this URL and paste it here like this. All right. Then it will ask you for selecting the event on which you want to send the data from Razor Pay to your workflow. So from here, you have to select this payment dot failed option. Check this box. Okay. Then click on create webhook and you can see the webhook is saved here successfully, right? And here you can see as we have copied the webhook URL, it started showing waiting for the response of this connection. So this means now we can perform a test submission. Test submission means now I'm going to open a test payment page. Uh, which I have created in Razorpay and I'm going to fill in the details of, a, of the checkout process and I'm going to deliberately cancel the payment so that the payment will be failed and the data of that failed payment will be captured here. Okay. So guys, I have created a payment page for a course I am selling online and here uh, these are the details and this product and this page is under test mode. So uh, we are setting up this workflow, so I am using test mode only. I am not going to make any real purchase, okay? So here in the first name, last name, let me fill in the details. Let's say the name of the uh, person who is making the purchase is dummy customer. The email address is this. Let me fill in the mobile number. So guys, I have filled the details as you can see. Right. And here I'm clicking on pay button. Okay. 
so here you can see it will ask you to select the payment mode so i'm selecting the card option here you can provide the test card details this is not an or original card i'm just entering the test card data and here you can put any name like this and the code and here click on pay now without saving the card okay and from here guys you can see it is asking to enter the otp so, so suppose that i didn't received any otp this can be a real situation so here i'm going to click on this cancel button and you can see yes cancel now you can see the payment is failed the payment has been failed here let's check in our workflow if we got the data of this payment failure here you can see guys we have received the data and we have the details of the customer the course he is purchasing the payment mode and you will see the related details of the payment amount you can see the payment amount is this and here you can see the event event here payment dot failed but in the payment amount you can see it is showing a 79900 okay but here we are trying to make the payment of only 799 okay but this decimal point didn't captured here so it is showing two extra zeros so to correct this we are going to use this action window so to automatically correct the payment details we are going to use a feature of pabli connect which is called number formatter so when you choose number formatter you will find an action event here which is called perform math operation select this then click on connect button and here it will ask you to provide the numbers on which you can uh, perform these mathematical operations add subtract multiply divide make negative so guys here i am going to map this amount label to map it here just click on this field and the previous trigger step will appear in the drop down and when you click on it you will find all the data that you have received from razor pay from here just click on this amount label to map it okay then you have to put a comma and then type 100 manually okay and now select the operation as divide so when you select divide operation this number will be divided by 100 so the two extra zeros will be removed okay now click on save and send test request button and in the result label you will get the corrected amount here you can see we got the corrected amount in the result now guys to this person who have just trying to make the uh, payment and the payment got failed i want to send a whatsapp message so click here on this plus icon and to send a whatsapp message i am going to connect here interact application which is a uh, business api provider for whatsapp okay here we are going to use the action event here send whatsapp message send whatsapp template message okay now click on connect button from here select add new connection and here it is asking to provide the secret key or api key of interact application you can get this key from the developer settings let me show you here you can see we uh, we have this conversation option click on it uh, and here you will find this developer setting click on developer setting here is the secret key that we want just copy this key paste it here under this field and then click on save and you will be connected with interact application okay right and here you can see it started asking for the country code phone number full phone number so guys we have received a phone number via the trigger and you can see i have received the details here so this is the contact label and i have received this number so let me just map this contact label here in this full phone number field because in this field you need to enter the full uh, phone number with a plus sign and a country code okay so 91 is the country code for india you will find your country code here you just have to map the contact label okay here it is asking for the template code name so guys uh, what is a template templates are actually predefined message structures that you have to create beforehand in interact application and get them approved so that you can use those templates to multiple to send multiple messages at once on whatsapp so for this purpose i have created this template let me just show you from the template section this is a template i have created named as failed payment message okay here a small message i have written for this purpose for informing the customer about the failed payment here i have written dear 
your transaction of this rupees has failed against this product okay please complete the transaction to avail the services here we have this one two and three in double curly braces these are called the body variables or the placeholders we have in our message template and these are used to change uh, to change the data every time we are sending any new message for example after dear i want to address the person to whom we are sending the message so every time the recipient is going to change so with the help of these dynamic body variables we can change the values of these three things in any message so you must have these variables strategically placed in correct places in every template message okay you can easily create some of uh, these templates using the template library available here in interact you can see the template library here and for these purposes the, the uh, they show you the templates already created you can use them for your purpose okay and you will get them approved in a few minutes and you will get your templates ready so this is the template i am using and here it is asking to put the template code name so when you open your template and interact like this in the top search bar after this template slash you will find the template code name so you just have to copy this code name from here and paste it here in this field like this okay then it will ask for entering the language code so i have created the language i have created the template in english language so the code of english language is en just put it like this for us english you can put like this okay and here you can also send a header in the header you can send text messages images videos or documents right now i'm not using this feature so i'm going to leave this field blank then here it is asking for the body variable values so here you have to pay, place the values of the things that you want to add here in these body variables okay so first body variable is for the name of the person second is for the amount and third is for the product name so let me just put these three things here just click here and from the first trigger step map the customer's name so this is the first body variable then put a comma and now you can map the next body variable which is the payments amount so you'll get the payments amount from the second step where we have corrected the amount then put another comma and the third body variable is for the product's name so you'll get the product's name here in this uh, payment entity note scores label just map it here okay so i have mapped the body variables if you are sending any call to action button you can place the position here interact allows you to add a footer and a call to action button as well but right now we are not using it so i'm going to leave these two things blank now you can check your connection with whatsapp by clicking on save and send test request button and a test message will be say sent to this number that you have mapped here but this is actually not a real number so i am going to place my whatsapp number here then i'm going to show you how the message is going to look like in real time by clicking on this button so guys i have opened my whatsapp here let's click on save and send test request button how the message will appear so guys i have sent the whatsapp message and i have received the message here let's see here okay so this is the message it is showing dear dummy your transaction of rupees 799 has failed against the product java for beginners so you can see in place of the placeholders the data has been placed properly as i have mapped in the workflow so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up the automation and uh, you have to set up it only once after that it is going to work automatically whenever the trigger happens that means whenever the payment fails okay and i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow in your own free pavli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel